is really one of those blink and you miss it type situations. We're at the tail end of August, guys. Summer is just about over. We're heading into the home stretch of 2024, and it's getting to be that time of year where we need to start rounding up the masculine dissidents. Is is that where we're at? Okay, we're heading into an insane political season, and anybody with a dissenting voice, anybody who is being perceived as being a little bit too problematic, a little bit too disruptive to the system they need to get reminded who's boss allegedly right but then again okay now that we have another police raid on the tate compound and we have a new wave of allegations and already on the face of it because you know i've been following this stuff for a very long time hell since all this stuff dropped in what 2022 i can't believe we're still here for as much as i can barely believe that we're almost through 2024 i still can't believe we're talking about police raids the tates two plus years going on on this like this is insane man just let the guys live their life but no if there's proof to the allegations obviously it would be disappointed but they should be per or prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law but at this point in time we've seen what the fullest extent of the law has proven that there needs to be more allegations for them to accomplish their stated goals but yeah it's been ratcheted up and now it includes another day. like what are we doing here okay what the hell are we doing here but this happened earlier in the week right mass police officers in romania carried out fresh raids and they also brought a camera crew i guess this is how serious this is fresh or er, fresh raids early wednesday early wednesday romania time we obviously heard about it later at the home of divisive internet influencer andrew tate and his brother everybody was snatched up once again because of course their trial on the other crap should have happened already but no 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 it ended up getting kicked down the road it was supposed to be taking place either in december or january I think it's december right and because there has been nothing but good news for the tates on that front we need another round of allegations of course to bolster something oh who is awaiting trial on charges of yes a traffic King stealing TikTok money. Is that, is that what we're doing here? Romania's anti-organized crime agency, DICOT, said it was searching for homes in the country of, oh, in the counties, sorry, of Bucharest and nearby Ivlov, investigating allegations of trafficking. Trafficking minors? Really? Uh, intercourse, oh, with an underage person. Influencing statements and money laundering. Oh, okay, cool. It's fantastic. The agency added that the hearings will uh, will later be held at its headquarters because, of course, that's, we know how this song and dance goes. Take spokesperson Matea uh, uh, Petrescu said in response to the raids that although the charges in the search warrants are not yet fully clarified, they include suspicion of trafficking, money laundering, uh, oh, and just money laundering. Added the legal team is present. Pr uh, Petrescu did not address the allegations involving a minor. I'd like to know where that comes from. Does Dozens of police officers and forensic personnel were scouring Tate's large property. Yes, he's got a gigantic compound in Bucharest there. This is the one proper that you've seen on all of the videos on the edge of the capital in Bucharest. Yes. During the entire criminal process, the investigated persons benefit from the procedural rights and guarantees provided by the Code of Criminal Procedure, as well as presumption of innocence. Yeah, sure. I bet. Uh, the 37-year-old Tate and his brother Tristan, 36, both former kickboxers, both former world champ. Well, in Andrew's case, world champion, and in Tristan's case, European champion, kickboxers, dual British U.S. citizens, have both amassed millions of social media followers, and then had all but their well, their reinstated Twitter accounts and Rumble accounts taken away from them when they were absolutely going sky high back in holy crap that was 2022 wasn't it no were arrested yes in 2022 near bucharest along with two romanian women on the back of allegations based on six women two of which we've never heard a damn thing from two of which verifiable liars and another pair that are disputing any of the claims but a corrupt judge oh i'm sorry a compromised judge. oh i'm sorry a fair and honest romanian judge said we're too brainwashed to really provide any sort of discrediting testimony uh, romanian prosecutors formally indicted all four last year and they have denied allegations and we are still waiting for a full trial but that hasn't stopped andrew or tristan for getting out there voicing their mind 
on specific things like the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, as you can see right there. Also being vocal supporters of one Donald Trump, but I could only imagine that that all of this stuff is just simply coincidental, of course, right? To the raids and the prolonged trial and the constant media harassment and slander. Oh, of course not. That got nothing to do with anything, right? In April, the Bucharest Tribunal ruled that the prosecutor's case filed against the four met to the legal criteria and that the trial could start, but did not set a date for it to begin. Last month, the court overturned an earlier decision that allowed the Tate brothers to leave Romania as they await trial. Yeah, because they've got places in like Dubai that they haven't been able to see in yeah two years at this point in time. Two years, December. Yeah, because it was just a couple days before New Year's, right, that they were snatched up. An earlier court ruled in July the fifth, or on July the fifth, that they could leave the country as long as they remained within the two uh, twenty-seven member European Union. The decision was final. Andrew Tate is known for yes, expressing I don't know, pretty based opinions. They want to say misogynistic, but you know. I'll let you be the judge on that. I've went through the whole bunch of it on this channel, on my own. I like Tate. I haven't shied away from appreciating Tate and all the additional work and the people that have reached out to me with good information I've shared with all of you guys. So you know my stance on this stuff. And based on these Wednesday allegations, can't really say that I'm all that convinced. Again, here's allegations. We went and raided your homes and, the, and then the boys were free. And then Thursday rolled around, and the Tates were uh, detained again as Romanian cops probe. New round of allegations. Is this what we're at? Is this what we're doing? We're doing another round? Oh, Lord. It was detained again Wednesday as mass Romanian cops carried out fresh raids on the home amid new allegations of trafficking, all of which they couldn't prove with the first round of raids, apparently. The self-proclaimed misogyny, oh my god, uh, who is already awaiting trial, is hauled away from his Bucharest property alongside Tristan. I've done no, oh, what I've done wrong, who knows, Tate uh, raged at two reporters as he was ushered into a police van amidst the latest probe. Yeah, exactly, because they just levy accusations, they just levy charges, and then they cook up the proof later. Anything to put me in jail except to give me a trial. No trial, no judge. This country is crazy. Yeah, so at this point in time, he's done playing nice because, yeah, he's been put through the system for just about two years. Come on. Uh, the brothers' detainment came as dozens of police officers and forensic personnel descended on their large home on the outskirts of the city throughout Wednesday as part of four raids, yes, on separate properties. Ro uh, Romania's anti-organized uh, crime agency, DICOT, said the investigation concerned Yes, all the same stuff that we learned on Wednesday that was not good enough to detain them to begin with, but good enough to run back, raid them, and snatch them up once again. As of yet, no proposal has been submitted by the prosecution, spokesperson Matea Tr uh, Petrescu said late on Wednesday. And the brothers have been detained for 24 hours, which is the maximum DICOC can hold them without a judge approving a request by prosecutors for a longer period. And we've already been through this song and dance, right? From December until, what was it, May of 2023? December of 2022 to May of 2023, that's how long the boys were put in jail for the first time around, so who knows, man, how long this is going to go, because this is absolutely absurd at this point in time. They just keep on trying to find things to attach to the Tates. This is a brand new wave of accusations because everything before this had been based on the word of some verifiable thoughts with track records of destroying men's lives longer than my arm. Okay, Emma Ida Gabby, former stripper from Moldova. What are we doing here? Apparently not looking at the proof. We're just making it up as we go along and ruining lives and disincentivizing other people from speaking up because they can do this to the Tates, somebody or a pair, an entire organization rather that has such a extensive financial backing if they can put them through the ringer just imagine what they can do to you just imagine if they're respective puppets that are more than willing to push hate speech legislation more than willing to crack down on their political rivals while crying out that if the other person wins they're gonna go after their political rivals even though well you can take a look at what they've done over the past few years to their political rivals. This is simply using two prominent people, lumping a whole host of accusations on them to try to shame you, cower you, and scare you into silence. Well, here's the thing, man. It didn't work before. It's not going to work again. And if you keep up with this level of evidence, it's still not going to work. So you better hope that when it's all said and done, our side is feeling benevolent when it's time for a little retribution. 
So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.